Okay, so put away your calculators and let's see how well you understand this critical concept of basic mathematics. So what we have here is a basic math problem, but uh, the way it's written, this is not true because we have five plus two times nine minus three. Well, this is not equal to 42. Now, a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, what's going on here? You're giving me a problem that's not true. Well, it's not true in its current form, but what we can do here is add some parentheses to this side of the problem in order for this to be equal to 42. So the challenge or the problem is, is where should we put the parentheses? And you're not limited to just one set of parentheses as well. All right, now, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step, and we're going to review this critical concept of basic math as well. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here is our problem. And where can we add some parentheses into this problem in order for this to be a true statement, right? And again, you're not just limited to one set of parentheses. So let's go and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is the following. So if we add some parentheses around the five and the two and the nine and the three, well, this is now equal to 42 because five plus two is seven and nine minus three is six and seven times six is 42. All right, now, if you uh, were able to figure this out, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus, congratulations. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I didn't get this right. Well, I'm pretty sure if you uh, kind of messed around with this problem long enough, you would have been able to figure it out. But uh, there's a kind of a bigger point to this problem, and that is this thing right here, which is the order of operations. Now, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this says PEMDAS, not the order of operations. Well, the correct order of operations in mathematics is when we follow this checklist, right? And this is critical because uh, really this problem is all about the order of operations. So what is an operation in mathematics? Well, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even powers, it's basically the things that we can do with numbers. Now, when we have a problem, a math, a math problem with more than one operation, like here we have addition, we have um, uh, multiplication, subtraction, depending upon the order in which we do this problem, we're gonna come up with different answers. Of course, there's only one correct order, and that is when we take the order of operations or when we use the correct order of operations. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explain this PEMDAS, which is uh, basically a checklist for the correct or order of operations in just one second. But first, before I explain this, I'm gonna give you a little mnemonic, a little memory aid here. So it goes like this, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but uh, we thank her for her contributions to mathematics anyways. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the order of operations or PEMDAS. Okay, so this is a checklist. Again, it goes from left to right, and these letters obviously stand for something. So let's go ahead and talk about a P. So P stands for parentheses. So if your math problem has parentheses, now not every problem is gonna have parentheses, but if, if uh, our problem did have parentheses, well, you're gonna start there first. In other words, the first thing you're gonna do is look for any parentheses and do what's inside of those parentheses. But it's not just these type of parentheses, it's uh, these as well, brackets, or even these kind of squiggly brackets. Technically, this is what we call grouping symbols. So this is a symbol that groups numbers together. And you can see that our problem is all about uh, using uh, parentheses or how powerful they are in mathematics. Okay, now one thing about uh, this part of the order of operations is if you have parentheses inside of like brackets inside of another set of uh, brackets, the way this works is you're going to go to the innermost parentheses, do that first, and then kind of expand out from there. Okay, so that's what P stands for. Now let's go ahead and talk about E. 
So E stands for exponents, but you can kind of think of this as powers. So we have 2 to the third power. Well, this little number up here is called the exponent, and it's basically the number of times we're going to multiply this number. Okay, so 2 to the third power means take 2 and multiply it by itself 3 times, right, which, of course, is 8. So an exponent is this number in the top right. So if your math problem has any powers, well, that's what you're going to do next. Now, of course, um, a lot of problems, you know, are not going to have powers. You know, ours doesn't uh, have any powers, but you still have to kind of go through this mental checklist and be like, all right, do I have any parentheses? No. Do I have any powers or exponents? No. So now this brings me to the next um, uh, letters, right? So we have M, D, A, and S. Now, let me go ahead and just tell you what these stand for. So M stands for multiplication. D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, a lot of you might be saying, I know what you're going to do, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You're going to go to the next letter, M. So you're all excited. And uh, actually, I'm going to give you a question here to see how well you understand the order of operations. So here it is. So it's 10 uh, divided by 2 times 5. All right, so 10 uh, divided by 2 times 5, a super simple question. So uh, can you solve this uh, math problem? You should be able to do this in your head. Matter of fact, if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. So if you said, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I'm going to just follow your checklist. I'm going to do multiplication next. So this is going to be and division and multiplication. So you might think that this is going to be 10 divided by 2 times 5, which of course is 10. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. Well, unfortunately, that is wrong. So if you answered with 1, well, I'm glad that you made this mistake. It is a very common misunderstanding when it comes to the order of operations. So some of you might be saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you got me really confused here. You're telling me one thing, and then now you're telling me a different thing. Well, here's how this works. So uh, when we're doing this PEMDAS business, we are going to do parentheses and then exponents. But the next thing that we're going to do is multiplication or division, whatever we, whatever we see first from left to right. So what do we see first from left to right? So if your math problem has division and multiplication, you have to look from left to right. So here we have division first. So this is what we have to do first. First, 10 divided by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is what? Well, that's 5. Now we have 5 times 5. So the correct answer is 25. All right. Now, if you got this right and you really understand the order of operations, well, that is fantastic. I have to give you a nice smiley face. Matter of fact, I'll throw in a good old-fashioned 1983 Mohawk as well. All right. So all jokes aside, and I like to kind of make jokes in my uh, little proms here because we don't want to take learning math you know, it is a serious subject, but, you know, we you know, can still have fun at the same time. Okay, so never feel bad about not understanding something or getting a math problem wrong, but obviously you want to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so multiplication or division, that's what comes next. And the last thing is addition and subtraction, and that works the same way. We're going to do uh, whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so now that we understand the order of operations, and especially the critical impact of parentheses, we could fix this problem up such that it's equal to 42, or we could create different values. So here is our problem, right? So here, um, you know, let's go ahead and just do the problem and see what the actual answer is. So we're thinking about PEMDAS, right? So we're like, all right, uh, that guy on YouTube told me to think about PEMDAS. So I don't see any parentheses here. Okay, there's no parentheses. Is there any E or exponents or powers? Nope. Uh, do we have multiplication or division? Yes. Okay, I have multiplication. So that's the only thing I have. So I'm going to do the multiplication first. So that's going to give me 5 uh, plus 2 times 9 is 18 minus 3. Now I want to go ahead and do addition and subtraction from left to right. So 5 plus 18 is what? That's 23 minus 3 is 20. All right, so that's the correct answer, right? Following the order of operations, it's not 42. But again, if we throw in some grouping symbols, we can uh, create all kinds of different answers. So let's go ahead and take a look at, at another example here. So if we put parentheses around a 9 and a 3, well, what's going to happen? Well, we have to follow, again, the order of operations, right? So that's PEMDAS. So I'm thinking, all right, got to do parentheses. Do I have parentheses uh, here in my problem? 
Yes, I do. So this is where I'm going to start uh, first, right? So nine minus three is six. So my problem is now five plus two times the result of nine minus three, which is six. All right, so now I have multiplication and addition. So I'm gonna do the multiplication first. Multiplication is always going to uh, be first before any addition and subtraction. So two times six is 12. So we're gonna end up with five plus 12, which of course is 17. All right, now again, you can just kind of mess around with this, but finally here, you can see the right combination of the order of operations is to put parentheses around the last two uh, num uh, sets of numbers, right? Because here, again, is our PEMDAS. Now, this is another thing that some of you might be confused about with this P. So if we have parentheses and then like another set of parentheses that are not inside of parentheses, you basically just do these things simultaneously. So uh, these two problems is what we're going to have to figure out first. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 times 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 7 times 6 is indeed 42. That is a true statement. Okay, so the whole purpose of this video is to show you or emphasize how important the order of operations is and how important uh, using parentheses is. This is critical, not only in arithmetic, but in algebra as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but uh, before we do, uh, hopefully you're going to uh, hit that subscribe button. Now, I need your help to continue to grow on YouTube. I love uh, teaching mathematics, but uh, what makes me really, really happy is helping as many people as possible. So if you're getting something out of my uh, video here, or maybe you've been watching other of my uh, other videos of mine, that is fantastic. But I am definitely trying to connect with as many people as possible. So I need your help. My channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. And uh, really what I'm trying to do is encourage all people to learn math, all right? So in other words, if you want to learn math or if you need to learn math and if you're like not confident in your skills or maybe you um, struggle in mathematics, I want to kind of be a messenger of hope. And I'm going to tell you, you can absolutely learn math, but it takes time and you really got to just focus on learning one skill at a time, really comprehending and mastering these concepts, right? So if you're trying to learn math uh, really quick, you're going to miss all kinds of stuff, and that's how math becomes frustrating. Now, we're talking about basic math concepts here, and if you're interested in really learning math from me, check out a couple courses. I'm gonna leave links to these in the description of this video. My first is my Math Foundations course. That's a basic three, uh, uh, a quick uh, three chapter mini course on basic mathematics, but I'm gonna kind of cover all that stuff that you pretty much uh, forgot uh, from elementary and middle school. And then the second course that I'm gonna recommend is my math skills rebuilder course. Here, I'm gonna cover basic math, a ton of algebra, geometry, and some other stuff as well. All right, uh, you know, the main idea here when it comes to learning math is this. If you don't understand something, or if you make a mistake, that doesn't make you bad in math. It doesn't make you not smart and none of that stuff, all right? The key is to be like, oh, I don't understand this. Let me go ahead and figure uh, out, you know, what is the correct approach to, learn, uh, to learning math. So I kind of want to leave uh, this video on that message. Never feel bad about not knowing something in mathematics. But uh, hopefully you got something out of this little video. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.